I believe we are created for greatness, not mediocrity. That we are to live our lives accordingly, striving to be agents of change as we attempt to leave this world a better place than we found. Hey, Power Lead System family, this is Manny the Man Lopez with a new PLS Tips with Manny. Sorry for the audio quality, um, my webcam I left at the office today and uh, I headed home a little early so I am using my laptop audio so it might sound a little uh, bad <laughs> to say the least. But anyways, uh, this week's training I'm going to be showing you guys how to use anchors in your lead capture pages within the Power Lead system. Now anchors are something I recently came across. Um, if you do not know what an anchor is, an anchor is a way for you to link on your actual lead capture page that goes somewhere on that same lead capture page. So the way I use it is a way for you to get right back to the opt-in section of my lead capture pages because I like to offer a lot of content on our pages or maybe you can go to a buy now button uh, or just somewhere, maybe a video on the page, anywhere that you want somebody to grab back to. Uh, it could be a back to the top, uh, down to the bottom, anywhere you want to go. So let me show you an example of how this works, and then I'm going to show you step-by-step step how to actually implement this into your pages. So here's an example of one of the landing pages I've created. Uh, it's for, um, it doesn't really matter, but either way. So let's say I want to link into, at the bottom of my page, I make a button called Get Started, which, uh, which when you click on it, jumps right back to our opt-in section on my page. So for me, I want them to jump right back here so they opt in and then go to the second page of my funnel. So here's an example. It goes all the way down to the bottom. They read through it. They're excited. Now they want to get started. Click here. Boom, right back to the top of that page where they see the video and the opt-in section. So let me show you step-by-step step how I did this. Um, and I've done this a little uniquely. Uh, most times you see an anchor, it's going to go right to a text link. So let me show you how this works. So first thing you want to do is go into Websites. Web pages and my web pages uh, have a editable copy that you can utilize. So let's go in here. Always save changes on that first page so it still links into the right section. And let's show you how this works. So as you can see, I've got this little flag here because I've already made it. But I'm going to go and delete this and make a new one. So what I did is I put it as a text. Okay, normally which if you come into it, you're going to get something like this. You type out your text and you've got something like that, right? So let's say I use these as my anchor. I want, them to, I want that anchor to go here, right, to the top of this section. So what I do is I take this, I put on a white background, so I'll just copy the same background and make it white. That way when people go to it, they don't see that text, okay? And then I want the button to be here. So start, get started. This is what I want to anchor. So when somebody clicks on this, it jumps here to this section. It jumps right back to here. That is the actual anchor that I'm going to make. All right? So let me show you how this works. So you're going to need to know these two lines of code. Okay? Uh, you can name it whatever you like. Your anchor could be named get started. could be named chicken. could be named salad. doesn't really matter. All right? So the first thing you want to have is this is the link. So, for me, you want to first create the A name. So I take this and I'm going to copy it. Okay, if you want to copy and paste exactly the way it is, it's going to be, it looks just exactly like this. A space name equals quotations, whatever the name is. Use your brackets. And this is what we're going to do. Copy. I'm going to copy that. I'm going to go to my source. So FFASD. So I go to source, control F. Okay, that is going to allow me to search for something. So F F A S D. So here it is right here, right? So that's a span color. Now I'm going to paste that code. Make sure you move this after that. After the span. Okay. So as you can see, I took that FFASD and I created that into that get started, right? Perfect. So A name equals get started. You make sure you put that A, that that uh, this is the closing of that A name. Okay, so you make sure you put that after the FFA, whatever you use as your text, okay? 
We're going to go back. And we're going to see that now it's got that little flag in there. That means that that is working. Okay? So you're going to go to where that button is. I want to link this button to that A record. So I'm going to link right here. And it usually says URL. This is where it starts. But what I want to do is I want to link to anchor in the text. And you'll notice whatever your anchor you named it is going to be listed right here. Get anchor name by element ID. Leave that blank because it's blank already. And press OK. Now this button here is now linked to that A record. Or that, uh, that anchor. Give me a second. So we're going to go and save changes. We're going to go and view it. And we're going to see now, you do not see the A record, you can highlight it and you can see it, but you won't see it normally, as long as you keep the background the same. Scroll all the way down, you'll see the Get Started button, I'm going to click it, bam, right back to my A record. Why do you keep saying A record? My anchor. Alright, so right back to the, the anchor, it's going to put right at the top, the anchor is going to be the top thing. So, wherever you want it to go, whether it be down here, up there, wherever you want it to go, is where you put in that anchor. All right, so that is step by step how you do it. If you have any issues uh, with learning how to do that, just go ahead and inbox me, uh, give me a call, whatever. It doesn't really matter, but just find a way to get in touch with me or rewatch the video step by step. Very very simple. So here it is again. You're going to add this in here. Go to edit text wherever you want the A record to or the anchor to start at. This is where you put it. Okay. Or wherever you want it in your in your sales funnel, it could be on a second page, third page, first page doesn't really matter. But go ahead and put that in there. This way you can find it. Make sure you put a Control F to search so you can find that F F A S D F F A S D or whatever you put as your text there to find it. And make sure you add that right before the text and the the A dash or the bracket dash A after the text okay so that way it'll make that into the anchor this is now the anchor go into the source come back it should be invisible with a little flag next to it which means that anchor is working and then you just make anything you want to click on that jumps back to that make that link it to that anchor all right so that is step by step how you do it if you guys have any questions let me know but it is good to go let me know how it works for you guys have a good one. I will see you guys next week. PLS Tips with Manny. Always remember, you are too blessed to be stressed. Have a great day. I believe we are created for greatness, not mediocrity. That we are to live our lives accordingly, striving to be agents of change as we attempt to leave this world a better place than we found it.